Yesterday, Australia played France in the first game of Group C for the 2018 World Cup. It was an intense game that France won two goals to one. I will go over the highlights of the match, then provide my opinions afterwards. I had previously predicted the game to finish with France winning three goals to one, so Australia appears to have done better than what me and most of my peers expected. The first half began very intensely, with many chances on goal for both sides. Australia played a lot of tiki-taka soccer and utilised the defenders to dominate much of the possession. There were chances on goal from both sides, however neither of the teams were able to capitalise and score and the match was tied at 0 all at half time. The second half was much more eventful than the first, with all of the goals being scored in this half. Soon into the second half, Antoine Griezmann called for a penalty to be awarded. Though originally not given as a penalty, the VAR later confirmed that it was a foul and Griezmann scored against Matt Ryan. However, just a few minutes later, the French defender Umtiti put his hand out to make direct contact with the ball and it was given as a penalty. Millet Yedinak then scored to even the score at 1 all. Towards the end of the game, France began to really dominate and get several chances on goal within the last 15 minutes. It was here that Pogba hit the ball into the goal, though it did come off the Australian defender's foot, it did go in. This gave France a 2-1 lead. Now for my opinion. The first penalty was originally not given, however the VAR came to the decision that it was an unfair tackle. Looking closely at the tackle, it's unclear whether or not the defender got a touch on the ball. The decision easily could have gone either way, even with the review of the VAR. In the second penalty, the French defender Umtiti deliberately raises his arm and makes slight contact with the ball. Millet Yedinak of course scored, giving Australia a well-earned goal. Pogba's goal, though technically an own goal, later in the match was extremely tight. Before viewing of the goal line technology, I was spectacle whether or not the ball had completely passed over the line. It's shown here that the ball is over the line only by about 1 or 2 centimetres, a very close margin. Looking back, all of the goals came down to just centimetres. If the Australian defender had gone just a little bit more contact on the ball, he may have been able to make a fair tackle and Australia wouldn't have conceded. In the second penalty, Umtiti only barely made contact with the ball and if he hadn't have touched it, Australia would not have scored. And of course, Pogba's goal was only about 1 or 2 centimetres over the line. I believe that if VAR were not present, the game would have ended 1-1 as Australia's penalty and Pogba's goal were both decided immediately by the ref as opposed to Griezmann's penalty which originally was not paid. I personally think that the game should have finished 1-0 as Umtiti definitely made hand contact with the ball and France did deserve a goal towards the end of the game, where France dominated possession and had plenty of opportunities. Say what you like about Griezmann's penalty, I personally think that Australia surprised many and played an incredible match against France, who I believe underestimated the Socceroos. Just a side note, I would also like to apologise for any future or current uploads. My internet has been awfully slow and it's been hard to make longer videos. But all of what I've claimed in this video is just my opinion. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments section, like and subscribe for more content uploaded every day if you enjoyed the video, and as always, you're watching Aussie Sport Review.